Okay guys, I'm sorry it's been a while, but it's been a busy couple of weeks, so I'm going to give you guys an update on my Finish 18 in 2018 Project Pan. Um, I have some pretty good progress going so far, but just as a reminder, I already finished two items. I finished my Essence All About Matte Powder and my, um, my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer and just so you guys are aware this is a little nightstand i can't um, i can't move it it's just gonna be there for the time being but anyways that being said let's just hop right in so the first thing is my bath and body works pear blossom um fine mist fragrance and i was there in the intro there in the first update and now i'm all the way down to here um it's been fine. It still smells good and stuff, so I continue to use it. I um I've just been using it more as a body fragrance. I've been um keeping it inside my house, which is where I think I'm going to keep it for now, but yeah, it's been pretty great. And now I have the Mario Badescu facial spray with with aloe herbs and rose water. So, I was here update or er, intro. There update 1. And now I'm here at this update. Um, it's fine. I'm not going to miss it when it's gone. Again, I only use it to wet my eyeshadows. But because I think I'm going to take a break from this. Because I think I'm going to insert something new in another project pan. So stay tuned for that. The next thing was my e.l.f. Um, baked highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. I will throw some pictures of what it looked like in the previous introductions and updates now. And this is where I'm at for this update. Um, there's bit, there's like more of a hole kind of like in here. But yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It's overly glittery. Let me get a better swatch of it. Um, yeah. So because of how glittery it is, I don't like to put it on my face. I like to put it on my body. It's been cold. And I've been working, so most of the times so I'm I'm in like my work shirt right now, just a black t-shirt. But because of that, I'm not putting it on my body right now, so it's not getting as much use as it will be shortly. But it is getting some use because we do have some sunny days because because of where I live, and I don't know. So the next thing is my um, CoverGirl True Blends Mineral Powder. So intro update one and where i am now i again am not i'm not using this as much as i used to be because um i've been using powder foundation and obviously i'm not going to put powder on top of my powder foundation so i just use this one to use liquid which i'm wearing a liquid foundation today so right now i'm wearing this but typically i don't usually it's just not what i've been reaching towards and that's fine because i have a whole year to get through this and there's not very much left my next thing is my Jeffree Star Lip Scrub, and I will throw some pictures of where I was. And as you can see, I am completely done with this. I thought it was going to take me a little bit longer to go through. I am kind of sad that I don't have a lip scrub now, and I actually did quite enjoy this. So, um, um, if you have any, um you know, lip scrub recommendations, leave them down below, but, because I really did like this one, but I'm not sure I'm going to be purchasing from Jeffree Star anytime soon. So, this was great. I enjoyed it. It's done. That is item number three out of my collection. Next, I have the Vaseline Lip Therapy, and they're the lip balms. I have two of them in the project. The other one is in my car currently, so I'm not going to go get it, but just know it's like on its last very leg like it's kind of gross trying to use it because it's always in my car it's always hot in my car it's so i'm getting like little spurts of oil and it's kind of gross but i'm gonna keep it's you know it's not unhygienic it's not going bad or anything so i'm just gonna keep using it when i want to which isn't very often but this is where i am on this guy so 
intro, that's just a random line I marked wrong. And update one, where I am now. So, I will probably be done with this in two months. That's my guess. My next item is the ColourPop Rouge Liquid Lipstick. So, I it's not going to focus, I don't think. So, intro, update one, and here... I don't know how much longer I'm going to be using this because it's starting to be spring soon. It's really rainy, but yeah, spring's starting soon. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be wanting to wear a dark liquid lipstick, but we'll see. I'm This might just be something I end up decluttering instead of um, finishing towards the end, but again, let me say, we'll see. But anyways, it, it's been nice and um, I've... Putting in this project has made me reach for it more than if I didn't put it in. So, the next thing is my NYX Red Lipstick in Chaos. And as you can see, there's absolutely no progress on it. Oh, is there? Wait, no. Absolutely no progress. I swear I use it. On a more positive note, my Maybelline Touchable Taupe, that is all I have left. So, intro, and then it didn't really move from my intro to my update, but now it's gotten a lot better. Um, this lands there. I would say I'm going to be done with this in a month, month and a half tops. My next one is my NYX jumbo eye pencil and milk it actually needs to be sharpened so if i were to sharpen it it'd be lower but i'm i don't feel like sh pulling out my sharpener but this is where i am intro update one and now and so i don't know when this is going to be done it's going to take a while we'll see we'll see when we get there and my next thing is my Maybelline color tattoo. This is the potted one and it's in black um, It doesn't have much difference. I still have that little speck of pan um, I've been working around the sides more just cuz I don't know. That's what I've been doing I think I might just push it to one of the sides But it's still really creamy So I don't know I've had this for three years yeah about three years a little like three and a half and it's still not dried out on me so i don't know that was like a concern that i had because a lot of people said these dried out really fast but i guess the black one doesn't or at least not for me i do close it really tight though so not sure my other color tattoo is the stick form and this is in gold rush i'm gonna roll it up all the way Again, I'm only I'm using this more as an eyeliner, highlight me in a corner. It's moved a touch, but um, yeah. This is gonna take me a lot longer to go through than I anticipated. Maybe I will start putting it on my lid and I don't know trying to make it work because I like I said I don't put it on top of my lid because I feel like it gets patchy when applied there. But maybe I'll try again. Maybe I'll try a different technique we'll see how it goes okay my next thing was um the where is it my Rimmel scandalized eyeliner but i can't get it like out so you can see it's stuck in this tube but anyways i was actually done with it anyways because look there's like no more lead in there i don't know if you, you're not gonna be able to tell but there's no more lead it's completely stuck so this is another item that's done and out of my collection Um, my next thing was supposed to be the, um, Benefit Cut Brow, but like I said in my last update, that went down my sink. I don't have it anymore, so I replaced it with the NYX, um, eyebrow powder. And my original goal was to finish the light side and to hit pan on the dark side, but I've actually already done that. I didn't realize, if you saw my last video, I was saying that I used to really like to not hit pan on things before I started um, project panning and I would work things down so that way it'd be completely flat. So I didn't realize that I had worked it down so it was completely flat and there was hardly any product left in here. 
So when, as soon as I started hitting pan, it went so fast. And with the darker side, um, I hit pan on that really fast too. I literally just, one day I just poked the center just to see if I was anywhere close and it just hit. So obviously I'm going to finish this now. I've been using this for, to fill in my hairline more than an eyebrow powder because, um, I have thin hair, so it's not anything, but you can see here, that's somewhere I would fill in where I'm wearing, when I'm wearing a ponytail to go to work, just to make it look a bit more full, so, anyways, I will probably, if I've used this to fill in my hairline five or six times a week, which is when I work, I could be done with this so fast, so, yeah, getting really close. Maybe I'll start using it in my eyebrows again, just that side, but we'll see, we'll see. My next thing was the Revlon Brow Fantasy, but that is also completely finished. Now, in the tube, that's actually just the stopper. I couldn't take the stopper out, but I could push it in. So, that's what that is, and it's completely cleaned out. It's actually, like, ridiculous, like... Like, that is so dry. Yeah. Barely any product. And me trying to use that as a brow gel. Like, no. So, this is done. Three items that makes in total of five. However, I do have my eyeshadow palette. And that's also completely empty. Yeah, I was really surprised when that you know what, that is actually perfectly timing, because look what just happened. So, I'm completely done. I've never finished an eyeshadow palette. This is just a little six-pan palette, but still. Um, I've only had this since I was a sophomore. It was a Christmas present when I was a sophomore, so junior, senior. That's about, yeah, about three years to, it took me to finish this. So, I'm really proud of myself. So, that is four items. For this update making six total meaning i have 12 left and looking at it i do have like some guys that it's like mm, girl what you doing and then i have some items that's like girl so we'll see i'm really this update makes me super happy to film i just i'm so sorry i haven't been filming for a very long time but i i'm gonna start soon i hope but that's what i always say but life you know takes me by surprise so thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye bye.